Hi everyone, welcome to the session. In this session, I am going to explaining about line graph data interpretation. First of all, I need to read the information which is provided in the given question. After that, we need to go for the problems. <coughs> First of all, look at the information which is provided in this line graph data interpretation. Here, profit earned by seven companies during 2003 and 2004. That is the given information. Here the information is about how much profit is earned by seven companies. Here the seven companies are A, B, C, D, E, F and G. These are the seven companies. In these, uh, For these seven companies, what is the profit earned? Uh, profit earned in the years uh, 2003 and 2004. That is the given information and all the values are given in terms of crores. Whatever the value which are provided in this uh, line graph, each and every value is provided in terms of uh, crores. <coughs> Suppose it is uh, 40, 40 is nothing but 40 crore and 20, 20 crore. Likewise, we need to take the values. Okay. And along with that, we have uh, one more information profit is equal to income minus expenditure most of the people uh, uh, know this particular formula the profit value is nothing but income minus expenditure value if you are subtracting whatever the expenditure from the income you will get the profit and uh, one more thing is here you will be having total three variables one is profit one is income one is expenditure so out of these three variables uh, if you know any two variables it is very easy to calculate profit value or in uh, income value or else uh, expenditure value if you know two values uh, okay so that is the advantage of this one and uh, in this line graph all the profit values are provided if income values are given then it is easy to calculate expenditure if expenditure values are given it is easy to calculate uh, income okay that is the given information now look at the first question <coughs> here the first question is what is the ratio between here we need to calculate the ratio between profit earned by company a in the year 2004 profit earned by company a in the year 2004 and the profit earned by company b in the year 2003 company b in the year 2003 this is the ratio that we need to calculate profits profit ratio all the values which are provided in the line graph those are uh, profits only so directly you can take their uh, values company a first company a 2004 2004 is a square shape so it is uh, company a 2004 which is 40 40 crores i don't want to write crores why because crores will be there in both the cases so those two values will be cancelled at any cost and company b that is second one company b 2003 which is the you know rhombus shape that is uh, that is also you know 40 only company b company b 2003 that is also 40 therefore our required ratio for this one is 1 is to 1 the required ratio of uh, company A profit 2004 and company B profit 2003 which is equal to 1 is to 1. If you look at the options, option D is the right answer for this question. 1 is to 1. Let us look at the second question. Here the second question is what is the difference between? Here we need to calculate the difference. And that value must be in terms of crores only. Right? We need to calculate the difference. Difference between which values? Total profit earned by companies E, F, G together in 2003. E, F, G. E, F, G values. E, F, G total profit in the year 2003. And next, the total profit earned by these companies these companies in the sense same companies same companies e f g 
in the year 2004 in the year 2004 so first calculate what is the total profit uh, in 2003 of efg companies and what is the total profit of company so efg in the year 2004 and then take the difference between those two values first i will note down all the values company e here we have to start with this point company e 2003 value 2003 value which is rhombus that is 50 whereas 2000 2003 value is 50 and next one f f 2003 which is 80 and next uh, g 2008 uh, 2003 which is 60 and similarly you need to write down uh, 2004 values of same companies 2004 values that is first one is uh, 40 and second one is 20 and next third one is 50 third one is 50 now you can add all the values so that uh, it will be very easy to calculate the values see uh, or else you can do one thing here 50 50 common you can cancel it and combination of these two 60 this 60 this 60 will be cancel therefore the difference between these two finally you will be left over with 80 that is the difference between those values uh, companies efg uh, in the years 2003 and 2004 the difference is uh, 80 crores uh, 80 crores is the right answer for this question once look at the options option c is the right answer for this question option c let us look at the third question here the third question is what is the ratio between here we need to calculate the ratio ratio between which values total profit earned by company c in 2003 and 4 together company c company c 2003 and 2004 together and the total profit earned by company e in these two years company e in 2003 and 2004 together we need to take the ratio of these two first uh, we are talking about company c after that we are talking about company e in both the years not only single year first company c 2003 value which is uh, 50 2003 value that is 50 plus uh, and next 2004 value 60 is to company e 2003 value which is 50 and next company e 2004 value that is 40 that is 40 now you can take the values add these values 50 plus 60 110 plus 50 plus 40 90 here 0 0 gets cancel therefore the required ratio of uh, company c both the years together profit and company e both the years together profit this is profit ratio this is profit ratio of company c in both the years together and company e in both the years together which is 11 is to 9 11 is to 9 that is a rare. that is a required answer once look at the options option a is the right answer for this question option a next question see here what was the average profit earned what was the average profit earned by all companies in 2003 in 2003 here we need to calculate average profit of all the companies here total we are having seven companies total we are having how many companies seven companies seven companies average profit we need to calculate in the year 2003 not in the year 2004 we should not consider 2004 value we have to consider only 2003 values first of all before uh, calculating the values i'll just round up the values for clear understanding purpose here company a 2003 which is 20 and after that it is 40 and after that it is uh, 50 and next uh, 70 
and next 50 80 60 these are the values of all the seven companies in the year 2003 profit values now we need to calculate the average profit of uh, all these seven companies in 2003 as we all know that average is equal to what average is equal to sum of observations sum of observations divided by number of observations average is equal to sum of observations divided by number of observations here number of observations is nothing but uh, number of companies we need to take into consider number of companies whereas coming to sum of observations is nothing but uh, total profit total profit uh, in 2003 total profit of all seven companies in 2003 that is the value we need to take in the numerator therefore the required average profit is equal to required average profit is equal to add all the values 20 plus 40 plus 50 plus 70 plus 50 again plus 80 and final value is 60 divided by number of companies that is 7 7 companies here one information is given as uh, all the values we will get the value in terms of crores only why because each and every value is provided in terms of uh, crores that is the reason why we will get the answer in terms of crores and that too we need to calculate the values rounded off to two digits after the decimal we need to calculate after the decimal point uh, up to only two digits okay if it is not cancelled then only he will mention the information like this okay therefore the required average profit is equal to the required average profit is equal to first you can add all, all the values here for uh, 60 plus 40 100 100 plus 100 200 200 <coughs> plus 100 300 300 plus 70 that is 370 370 divided by 7 370 is not divisible by 7 so you need to calculate up to two digits after the decimal point now you can cancel with 7 table 7 fives are 35 7 fives are 35 and next uh, 2 will be left over 20 20 means 7 twos are 7 twos are uh, 14 still 6 is left over you can just keep point so that it will be 60 uh, and next uh, 7 uh, eights are 7 eights are uh, 56 7 eights are 56 still 40 will be left over still 40 will be left over which is nothing but uh, 5 times and next uh, again 50 will be there 7 7 uh, 7 7s and so on right if you observe carefully 72.857 and so on it means uh, you can take according to the options uh, here 72.75 and uh, sorry 52.75 here it is 53 point something this is not your answer 53.75 this is not your answer 52.86 this value you can take the answer why because the reason is uh, here the third digit is 7 so approximately you can take this value as 52.86 eight six crores 52.86 crores that is our required average profit that is our required average profit in 2003 that is our required answer which is option c is the right answer for this question 52.86 option c you can eliminate option a also okay last question in this session the profit earned by company B in 2004 is what percent of profit earned by same company in 2003? Here we need to calculate. We are talking about company B. We are talking about company B and the two uh, first company B 2004 what is the value and company B 2003 what is the value. Company B 2004 that is uh, square shape which is 30 here it is 30 whereas uh, company b 2003 value which is uh, 
40 which is 40 these are the two values okay now the question what he is asking is company b profit earned by company b in 2004 2004 this value is what percent of is what percent of uh, company b 2003 profit that is uh, in 40 so the required percentage the required percentage that you need to calculate is you are calculating the percentage of 30 you are calculating the percentage of 30 because of that reason you need to write that value in the numerator out of uh, out of value will always comes under denominator once look at the out of value here company b 2004 is what percent of 2003 out of value will always comes under denominator which is uh, uh, 40 30 by 40 into 100 percentage now here you can cancel 0 and 0 and next you can cancel with 4 table 425 that is 100 therefore the required percentage is equal to 3 into 25 which is 75 percentage 75 percentage that is the meaning of that question here the profit earned by company b in 2004 which is 75 percentage of profit earned by company b in the year 2003 that is the meaning of that question b is equal to b's profit is 75 percentage of b's profit in 2003 and it is b's profit in 2004 if you look at this one b's profit is 30 in 2004 which is equal to 75 percentage means which is 3 fourth of b's profit in 2003 that is 40 now you can cancel these two you will get the same answer 3 into 10 which is uh, 30 both right hand side and left hand side both are equal that is the exact meaning of this question therefore our required answer for this question is 75 uh, percentage that is uh, among the options option b is the right answer for this question option b guys in this way you need to solve the questions related to this uh, model uh, line graph uh, i hope you understand each and every problem in this session thank you thanks for watching